Um, next is Helen Tate. Um, I wanted to uh, talk to the council and I submitted on, on two separate points. Um, the first one is uh, to urge the council to have the courage of your convictions as far as the, um, the draft plan for the source of funding, both increase in rates and uh, some partial asset sales. I know you've had a huge number of submissions opposing both of those things, and um, under normal circumstances, um, I, I'd certainly have um, joined people who are opposed to asset sales, but these are not normal circumstances. None of us wanted uh, an earthquake to happen, but um, given that it did, it provides challenges and opportunities. And we elected the council to um, make responsible and appropriate decisions about how funding should be done. And as I say, I know you've had uh, plenty of submissions opposing um, the, the draft proposal as far as funding's concerned, and I felt it was appropriate for somebody to speak for the, um, I hope, majority of people who um, think that what is proposed is appropriate and... Um, as I say, I urge you to, to stick with the, the courage of your convictions. I pay rates on three properties in Christchurch, and um, I, I was about to say I'm happy to deal with an increase. Nobody's happy to deal with increases, but I believe it's appropriate to provide the city that we all want to live in. And um, I still think that even with the increases, we get very good value for our rates, so stick with it. Um, the, the second and specific thing that I wanted to make a submission on, and I have um, submitted on this previously and written to both the Council and to the CCDU about the planning and provision for the new Central Library. Um, you might even say nagged on the subject. Um, I, I believe I was the project manager for the previous Central Library, so I do have um, something of an interest in the, the subject, apart from the uh, general residence interest. Um, but I do see the Central Library as being a project that really can be a jewel in the crown for the Council. Um, stadiums are controversial, convention centres are controversial, but typically um, libraries are something that all citizens value and use heavily and something that can be an absolutely positive symbol of redevelopment for the city. When I've made submissions in the past, it's been about the size that's proposed for the new central library. The previous central library was too small as soon as it opened, even though it had been responsibly planned to meet the needs that um, we thought were appropriate. Um, but immediately after it opened we had to start planning for um, additions and extensions. In the original way back long term plan prior to the earthquake when the uh, replacement of the central library was uh, well down the agenda, discussion was about a new central library twice the size of the previous one. Each time proposals appear it's got smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, there was a commitment at one stage to 12,000 square metres. It's now down to less than 10, which is not that much larger than the previous um, central library at over, the, over 7,000 square metres. Um, I suspect that given the stage of planning, that concern about the size is, is perhaps um, too late to revise. If it's not possible to increase the size, I think it makes it doubly important that you look at spending to produce a quality building. Um, I'm really impressed with what I've seen of the design so far, um, but in order to achieve the things that are proposed with meeting spaces, exhibition spaces and so on, it's important that on an ongoing basis the council is putting money into the, the staffing of making full use of those facilities, the quality of exhibitions that can be mounted there, the programs that can be run in public spaces and so on. And given the size issue, it's also going to be important that you recognise there will be a cost in providing off-site storage somewhere else in the city because the size that's proposed is not going to do everything, so there's going to have to be other 
um, effort as well. So I guess the bottom line of what I want to say to you, recognising that the clock's ticking down, um, is please don't skimp on it. It's an opportunity to do something that can be a really exciting symbol of the redevelopment of the city. Or it can be just a boring box at minimal cost um, and, and not done well. So um, please put the funding both in the capital development and the ongoing provision for the use of it to make it something really special. Thank you very Thank much. You. No, much appreciated.